Meanwhile, new signs of the health care law rollout may be down and out because a growing union opposition to the law isn't worrisome for the White House. Maybe this is. Because I want you to take a look at this picture of Politico here. This is not uh, a, a, a typical viewer of CNBC. It, it shows a lone volunteer working the phones at a pro Obamacare event in Virginia just yesterday. A whole lot of empty seats around her. Now, while it is not indicative of all of these types of events, as Politico reports, this was not a good start. And Dr. Ben Carson says it's just another reason to stop the whole health care law right now. By the way, I was just kidding about uh, CNBC. I used to work there, love the people there. But having said that, doctor, I mean, um, when you lose, for example, unions that were instrumental in, in getting this over the finish line, uh, and now they're worried about their plans being being taxed because they're especially generous, you, you've lost the final, you know, the final wall of support, haven't you? Well, you know, uh, Nancy Pelosi said uh, we have to pass it so we can see what's in it. We've had three years now to see what's in it, and uh, the level of enthusiasm has not gone up. In fact, it's going down as people are finding out what's happening. And, uh, you know, this is not terribly surprising to me, but uh, what has to happen is the people have to recognize that we can't just sit around and complain about it. We have to do something about it. The people are the ultimate bosses in this society, even though the government thinks that it is. And what everybody out there has to do is find out who your representative is. How did they vote? And if they supported this and they haven't publicly rejected that vote and, and pledged to do something about it, they should pay the consequences at the ballot box. That's how you change things. That's what uh, Judge Roberts was saying. He was saying, you know, it's not really our responsibility, it's your responsibility. In other words, he threw it back. People misinterpreted that Supreme Court decision. It was his saying, look, this is something Congress came up with and Congress must uncome up with it. I'm paraphrasing there. But let me ask you, though, doctor, I mean, Senator Ted Cruz, others are leading an effort to effectively defund uh, Obamacare, as it's become known. Um, even Marco Rubio, when he was here with me, doctor, had said he recognized it's an uphill, if not impossible, battle, but that it's an important one. Uh, I tend to think that these kind of things waste time uh, because you still have a, a Democratic president who no way in heck is going to sign on to that. So uh, where, where, where do people go or those in Congress go uh, to take the teeth out of this thing or kill this thing, if that's the goal? Well, what I would do is I would separate out the uh, health care bill with all the other budgetary matters. I would make it stand alone. Uh, you so you wouldn't, ability, wait a minute, sorry, you would not attach it to a potential government shutdown, or, or would you? It, I would not. Okay, I understood. would separate it. Go ahead. Absolutely. That's the wise thing to do. Uh, and, and they have the ability to legislate, to, ch to, to make the rules uh, whatever they need to be in order to do that. That's where they need to be concentrating. Get their uh, legal scholars involved. Just go ahead and do it. Now, what about doctors in the meantime, as you've told me, and you're pretty close to the fire there, they don't know what to make of it. No two doctors, no two radiologists, no two oncologists can understand it or explain it. So a lot of them are saying the hell with it and leaving average Americans on their own to figure out bills. Uh, how bad does that get? Yeah. How bad do you think it is getting? Well, it's, it's extremely bad. I haven't talked to anybody who's very happy about this, quite frankly. And, uh, you know, there's another level of documentation that has to be done. So, you know, physicians are spending enormous amounts of time documenting everything, uh, primarily so that uh, the overseers can uh, determine that you're doing everything exactly according to their schedules so that you can be rewarded or penalized based on, on, on their approval. You know, they have basically taken a lot of independence away from hospitals, away from physicians, and really have taken the joy out of it. Many people that I know who went into medicine did so because it would give them an opportunity to exercise their God-given talents mm. and bringing their gifts of healing to people. And now they're being overseen and told what they can and cannot do. And it's quite miserable, and uh, people are not enthusiastic about it. That's probably an understatement, doctor. Thank you. Good seeing you again. <laughs>